Okay, for problem 91, we're out, outside the multiple choice realm and into the, uh, you know, you show your work. And uh, I would suggest you try to be as neat as possible. So if I were doing this problem over here, sorry about that. Oh boy, it's gonna scroll again. This is a long document. I think we're at 93, right? No, I don't get a 100. And let's see, 95, not 93. Um, yeah, 91, okay? So if I were doing the problem, I'd certainly write it down. And r by writing it down, I put the D, wait a second, let me, uh, I'm really gonna screw it up here. I'd write down D, DX, and this is gonna be of X cubed. They say by definition, limit as H goes to zero, H goes here, uh, let's see, minus x cubed goes over here, and what goes here is x plus h cubed. Next thing I would do is, you know, continue. Limit, h goes <coughs> to zero, h. Binomial theorem, this can be h cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed minus x cubed. I want to continue. This is limit as h goes to zero. This is h. Let's see, the x cubes disappear, and what he left off with? 3x squared h plus 3x h squared plus h cubed. Well, since h isn't zero, I can divide through. And what would you get? 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared. And what does that give you? Well, on the limit, it just gives you 3x squared. That's what they asked us to do. That's what we did. We did it by limit definition. Thank you.